What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Quarantine Kitchen Quick Fix. Uh, today we are trying another new recipe. Uh, we're gonna make tofu cottage cheese today. Uh, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I'm excited to try. It's so, supposed to be super easy and it only requires a blender and a bowl. So, actually and a cutting board and a knife and all that jazz. <laughs> So let's take a look at the ingredients for this, okay? So we're going to need a block of extra firm or silken tofu, it doesn't specify in the recipe, a teaspoon of lemon juice, salt, nutritional yeast, and apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to open my tofu and drain it quickly. I will not cut myself. All right, we'll drain it. You could not be getting it. Um, because it's supposed to be liquidy, I am not pressing most of the tofu. Um, I am going to press some of it for the crumbles at the end. Even though the recipe doesn't call for that, I am going to press it while we're making it. I mean, it's not like... I'm a very intelligent person. I can open a block of tofu. Okay. I'm going to slice off just about a third of it. And I'm going to press that in the meantime. Even though it doesn't call for it to be pressed, I am going to press it um, over here on my cheesecloth, uh, just because that makes sense. Now we're gonna put the rest of the tofu in the blender. Okay. Um, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And tofu all over my stuff. That was a big tablespoon. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rinse my hands quickly. Teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, teaspoon of lemon juice, half teaspoon of salt. I think the main point is not to give it a seriously acidic flavor. Um, because cottage cheese is kind of, it has a little bit, but not a lot. Okay. All right. So then this goes to the blender and we're going to blend it until it's smooth. Um, and then we are going to use the rest of the tofu to break into crumbles to give it that crumbly texture. So to the blender we go. You would think I wouldn't have to specify this, but I'm going to because I got into a debate with someone on Instagram the other day. Um, for those of us that can't eat dairy, we can't eat cheese, um, we know that our substitute cheeses don't taste like cheese. We know that. That's not the point. Usually it's the texture that we miss and a savory thing to, to consume. The argument was over cashew cheese and someone saying it was disgusting just to eat real food. My reply was cashews are real food. <laughs> that was the response and it started kind of a heated debate. So the reason I said that is because I know this isn't gonna taste like cottage cheese. It's not supposed to. Um, you know, it's gonna taste like the ingredients that are in it. It will have a savory flavor. It will taste kind of like tofu, um, but it's gonna have the texture that I miss. I miss having a protein breakfast thing that I can mix with like berries or I can put on toast or, you know, something like that. So no, this is not going to taste like cottage cheese made out of the breast milk of a cow. Obviously, 
because it's not made from it's not made from milk. So I don't know. I felt like that needed to be specified. Also, the concept of people being grossed out by ground up cashews as opposed to the actual concept of milk. And I won't go into that because I refuse to attack people for what they choose to consume. I mean, people, humans are gross in general. You know, we eat things that are very questionable on all sides. I mean, you know, so I refuse to attack people for their food choices. Um, milk, I have an allergy, so I'm biased. And milk does kind of gross me out. Um, and the more you think about it, the more it'll probably gross you out too. But I'm not here to attack anybody for choosing to eat differently than me. Um, I'm here to make recipes that everybody can enjoy. Because honestly, what you eat doesn't directly affect me. So I'm going to share recipes. And that's it. Okay, so anyway, back to the, to back to the cottage cheese. So this is about the texture. I didn't go any finer than that. I guess I could have. Um, but I didn't because I'm looking for a cottage cheese-like texture, so. And now I'm slight, you could crumble it, but I'm not gonna crumble it. I'm just gonna dice it, sort of. You're just making crumbles, that's the whole point. It's not perfect. Making crumbles to give it that curds and whey kind of texture. So I'm just like loosely cutting it, because it'll crumble up when you try to eat it and everything, so. You could crumble it, you could. It's a lot easier, you should just crumble it. But. Aggression! <laughs> okay, so these are my tofu crumbles and I'm gonna mix that in here and then we'll give it a little taste. I mean, I tried it as it was coming out of the blender. It's, uh, it's okay, I'll eat it, totally. Um, I may not put strawberries with it, which is what my goal was, so that's kind of depressing. And I may actually add a little bit more acidity to it. It could use like a little lime juice or something. Um, but other than that, made myself a couple cups of natural cottage cheese. It's high protein. It's soy based and I kind of like to get away from the amount of soy that I eat. But that's kind of cottage cheesy to me. So that's what we got. So there you go. Um, Yeah, I'm definitely going to add more lime to it in this form and mix it in because I think it could use just a touch more flavor. I might ask also, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to also add more salt to mine, um, but that's my particular flavor. So there you go. That is the basis for a cottage cheese, and I will eat this by the spoonful for breakfast. Um, I may put it on toast. I may, I don't know, all that. Okay, guys, thank you for listening, and 